Oh, I'm sorry. Are you thinking about buying a house on Long Island? Well, what about the drinking water? That's the topic of my next video, an interview with Michael Rosenberg from Long Island Clean Water. Stay tuned. Hello, everybody. This is Mark Schreier from Century 21 American Homes Real Estate right here in Sayasid. Long Island, and I want to thank our special guest, Michael Rosenberg, from Long Island Clean Water, I believe is the name of the company, and he's going to be discussing a very, very important topic, water and buying a house and what you can do to protect yourself, uh, to be proactive before you make one of the largest purchases uh, you probably ever make, and what you can do to help uh, alleviate some of the possible issues that might come up. Michael, can you introduce yourself a little more, please? Uh, this is Michael Rosenberg. The name of my company is Long Island Clean Water. Uh, we've been in business for 35 years, uh, Nassau and Suffolk County, although we do do the city in Westchester and parts of New Jersey. Uh, we've, in the last 35 years, installed uh, over 10,000 systems, uh, both residential and commercial. Um, and so we're, we're, we're the big player in the market. All right. One thing uh, I mentioned to Michael earlier is that a lot of people or everybody highly recommended, and if you're using a mortgage to buy a house, which about 85 to 95 percent of people in Long Island are doing, is they need to get a home inspection for yourself to definitely do your due diligence before you spend that large sum of money. But a lot of the home inspections do not consist of water quality, drinking water quality, unless you ask for that specifically. So what can a buyer do to be proactive before they make that purchase, even before they make an offer to uh, test the water quality of their house? Okay. Uh, it's pretty simple. Um, you could take the time to go down to the water district and get a copy of the water report, or you can use a basic watchdog site that I like, which simplifies the water report. Uh, that website is EWG dot org i'm gonna write that down too yep e w g dot org when you go to that website you'll see a lot of different things on there and maybe some pop-ups that you'll get rid of but what you're going to want to find is the national tap water database you'll click on that link and then you're going to enter the zip code of the property that you want to find and when you enter that zip code, you're going to have to know the name of the water company. So where I live, I'm in Suffolk County. Um, not that Suffolk County Water is the only one, but I would click on Suffolk County Water. Or if you're in Plainview, as an example, you'd click on the Plainview Water District. When you do that, uh, if you scroll further down, uh, two numbers are going to pop up. Uh, numbers on the left are going to be uh, uh, any contaminants that are in the water that are above. Uh, health guidelines, and then the number to the right are going to be contaminants in the water that are within guidelines, but they're there. Okay, that's great. While we're on uh, websites, I also am going to share a website that I used about 25 years ago called ToxicTargeting.com with one T, and I'm going to put links to both these websites on the bottom of this video in the description column, but Basically, with that website, you just type in your address, your full address of the property you're considering buying, or if you're a current homeowner, the property that you are living in, and it will tell you, sort of in a free version, by the way, it will give you a map with all the Superfund sites, which uh, I'm not going to get into what that is, but basically means if it's a polluted area that's on a registry to be cleaned up. And any spills or things that are have been happening in that area, you can see how close they are to your property. And that's a very important thing to do, again, before you do the purchase, to see, uh, do your due diligence, to know what you're buying. Um, with that, let's say, and most of the water, I mean, just like the air we breathe, there's environmental issues. I don't want people to shy away, you know, to going into a certain property. There's always things that people can do if you notice an issue. But the whole idea is to know what you're buying, to be proactive before you move into your house and know what's out there and what you can do. So in regards to water, let's say you want to make sure the water is as clean as possible. What are some things that Long Island Clean Water offers to people 
for their home. Okay, so you know there are two basic kinds of systems. There's a system that would clean the water for your kitchen, you know, that comes out of the uh, sink, right. uh, and we're often able to uh, connect that to your refrigerator. So if you have water coming out of your fridge and ice, uh, one system in the in the kitchen. Uh, can do all that. So for cooking or making coffee or making ice or just drinking water, uh, you're, you're good uh, uh, with that. That's a drinking water system, uh, a, a top of the line system. The, the best uh, uh, contaminant removal is called reverse osmosis. Um, that, you know, that's what I would recommend for most places. That way you know you're stripped of all the contaminants. The second kind of system is a whole house system, uh, which is a bigger investment, and that attaches uh, to your main where the water comes in before your laundry, and that would pull all the chemicals uh, right out uh, before it gets anywhere in your house. Great information. Uh, a question I'm going to ask, because I might be dating myself a little with this question, but there was always a time when people said, if, if you're a good salesman, you could sell people a bottle of water. And people were like, there's no way in the world I'm going to spend money on water. But if you go into any grocery store, you see people walking out with cases and cases of bottled water with so many different names from generic to top of the line in their mind from all over the world. Now, can you tell us a little about, is that better to bring in bottled water in your home? Never mind the environmental issue of the plastics. That's a totally another uh, video, Mike. So, you know, if you had told me when I was a kid that people would spend money for water, I would laugh at them. But, I, but then again, I'm probably dating myself too. If you told me that every, <laughs> everybody would have a cell phone or a car in their phone, I would have laughed at them with right. that as well. Uh, but I, I think it's uh, pretty well known, unfortunately, on Long Island, uh, 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 that drinking the water out of the tap um, is not something people readily do. So it really comes down to um, really how are, you know, how are you going to get your water? Right. So, you know, the, the options, you know, th there's really a couple of key choices. Um, you can buy bottled water. Uh, the problem with bottled water, aside from the environmental impact and the plastics that when they heat up, you know, emit carcinogens as well. And then you're carrying, you know, uh, plastic bottles all the time. Right. That's one option. You can do a water cooler. Um, but then of course, you know, every time you're cooking, you know, uh, you know, it's a, it's a pain in the butt. Uh, uh, some people would get a Brita filter. Uh, that is a, you know, a, a pitcher, uh, you know, I, uh, they maybe cost 50 or 75 bucks and you change the pad. Um, that's sort of what I call a level one filter. It's going to remove sediment, uh, and it's going to remove chlorine. Chlorine is bleach. So it's great uh, doing nothing as opposed to having a Brita filter. Uh, you pull the chlorine out and chlorine has a bad taste as well. Uh, the, the next option is to do what's called an inline filter. And that's something that attaches underneath your sink and it's a canister. Uh, and, you know, for, you know, seven or 800 bucks, uh, you're good to go. Um, and you may or may not be able to attach that to your refrigerator. And then, you know, for about a thousand bucks, uh, you can get a, a complete stripping of all contaminants with reverse osmosis and um, in most cases be able to attach it to your refrigerator. And that's what I, I recommend that most often. Great. Uh, what I've done in my house is I have a triple uh, under sink water filter with a second um, spigot that comes out of my countertop. And I've also hooked up a line to my um, ice maker. So it automatically comes from the same filter instead of just that one cartridge that comes with a lot of, uh, you know, uh, refrigerators with ice makers. So I chose to go that route. And I then, then I also put in separate chlorine filters, I guess sort of the Brita, but not for showers because yep. the chlorine coming out, out of there also. So basically what I think Michael and I are saying, if you're buying a house, do the best you can on your budget to help reduce whatever toxins, whether it be air, because I know people have HEPA filters, which I have for my AC system to help reduce you know, that uh, for people who have allergies. 
and do your best you can for water. And, you know, you could also, I believe in full spectrum, you should also watch what you're eating because there's a lot of things to, to worry about with the foods and the toxins in foods as well. But trying to stay to the topic of water, I want to uh, thank uh, Michael from Long Island uh, Clean Water Systems. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And I will also leave all the links on the bottom for his company, as well as the other um, URLs that we mentioned in the video. Thanks again, Michael. You have any last comments you want to share or are we good? We're good to go. All right.